With calls intensifying for calm heads to prevail over the seeming rift between the executive and the legislature over the anti-LGBT bill, the NDC minority have taken new steps in seeking to compel the president to sign the bill. South Dai MP Roxy Nelson Dapiamekbo has filed fresh legal processes to compel President Ekufuado sign the anti-LGBT bill while also seeking to restrain the recently reassigned ministers of state from performing their roles. The NDC MP in his latest suit at the High Court warned an order of mandamus directed at the Speaker of Parliament to present the bill to the President of the Republic of Ghana. He is praying the High Court for an order directed at the President to receive the bill and then an order directed at the President to either sign the bill or indicate his inability to do so within seven days of receipt. On his Supreme Court seat restraining the approval of President Ekufaru's ministers, the MP is seeking an amendment which now will injunct and restrain reshuffled ministers from performing their functions. Even as the legal suits continue, Director of Legal Affairs for the NDC, Eluji Tamako, believes the Council of State must seek to resolve the current impasse. Is it not strange that the Attorney General will be writing this kind of letters to the Speaker of Parliament? There's crisis. You want to get out of the crisis. Do you put more petrol? You don't do that. In the superior wisdom of the framers of the Constitution, there is a reason why the Council of State is made up of elderly people so that when we have some of these crises, they can intervene. I think this is the finest opportunity for them to demonstrate the capacity to resolve this raging issue between Parliament and the executive arm of government.